Hello, and a warm welcome to DotFrostMaths.com. This video introduces students to some of the main functionality available on the site and the variety of different ways you can practice maths. This page is your dashboard, which you will come to whenever you log in or clicking this home icon on the top menu here. It gives an overview of your recent activity and what homework you need to do. These boxes allow you to access various parts of the site, which I will quickly run through. And on the right, you can see a notification feed, which includes alerts about homework, earning trophies, and so on. At the top of the page, you can see how many points you've earned and where you rank in the world. You earn points by correctly answering questions. And to answer the question you're undoubtedly thinking, you can change your profile picture by just clicking this picture here and uploading an image of your choice. Your latest homework is here. This tick means that you've completed this particular homework. You can review all your homework by clicking this button here or the work set button at the top of the page. And then you can see the various homeworks that you've either completed or need to do. You can earn trophies for different points related achievements. Although your teacher can set you homework, I think practicing independently is the key to getting good at maths. There are five different ways in which you can practice. The first is key skills. These are very specific question types where you'll get randomly generated questions with a worked example video to help you out. This is perfect if you're getting started with a new topic or want lots of examples of a specific kind of question. Practice by topic allows you to practice from a big collection of existing questions, mostly past paper exam questions. You can choose a topic's difficulty range and even filter to a particular exam board. When you're doing questions, there's a little mini whiteboard here allowing you to do workings. You can get video help at any point by just clicking this button here. A cleanup task allows you to redo four questions you've previously got wrong. I think it's very important to learn from your mistakes. Topic tests are mini tests by topic, each consisting of eight past paper exam questions. Getting at least six on one of these earns you a topic medal. There are two topic tests for most topics, an easier one and a hard one. The fifth way to practice is to do past papers. These are organized by exam board. Once you've found a paper you want to do, just use the practice this worksheet button. If you want to do it collaboratively with friends, you can play it as a live game as well. You can practice your times tables and divide tables here. You can either do individual practice of each table or have a mixture of all of them against the clock. This resources box is great for seeing everything available to you by topic. You can use this topic tree on the left to navigate to a particular topic. Or you can select a scheme of work if it's set up by your school. You can also use this topics to work on button to identify what topics you need to work on. For each topic, you have quick access to practicing questions, revision sheets where available, a video of me explaining the topic and the topic tests. You can also review what questions you've completed on that topic. If you want to see a timeline of questions you have done so you can review your answer and the correct answer, just go to the activity log under the assess menu. You can also access it using this box here. Finally, you can change your password and log out under this menu here. 
And that's it. We recommend you have a play around. I hope this site is a useful tool for you improving your maths and I hope that you enjoy yourself.